Welcome to the Na Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mac tutorials. Uh, we are going to keep going on uh, posting groups. Uh, we just got started on that. And uh, another announcement, so we're really happy we uh, went over 1,000 subscribers um, since the last video. So that's very exciting for us and motivating to keep going and providing uh, free tutorials on NAV. Um, but today, what I want to get into is uh, posting groups and explaining that. And that's a complicated topic. Um, has to do with how we connect the transactions or posting of transactions to the chart of accounts. Um, and today I want to go into uh, three entities in particular, which is the vendor, uh, customer and item. So I'm going to actually throw up a slide here. First time for everything. So here um, uh, I have a little diagram which is talking about how things post into the chart of accounts. Uh, and in these, we call these entities, um, so the customers, vendors, and items, actually there are more entities like fixed asset resources and stuff like that can be grouped under entities, but um, but these are sort of the main ones. And uh, and they all behave in a similar way. So one great way to understand NAV is to try to understand how the overall picture works. Um, if and you find that many many places in the system behave similarly, um, even though they're talking about different things, it's sort of symmetrical and unified. Yeah, the whole concept. Um, so here, for example, we have the customers and vendors and items, and all of them have posting groups that behave similarly and start with the name of the entity. So you have customer posting group vendor posting group and inventory posting group so uh, for those they are meant to direct the posting of the uh, particular entity to the balance sheet so i there are other reasons for these posting groups but the main reason for these posting groups is to post a balance sheet entry now what is a balance sheet entry balance sheet entry has to do with assets uh, and liabilities so, for example, when we post on a customer uh, and we use uh, the customer posting group, obviously, that is going to be tied to the accounts receivable balance sheet account. And the vendor is going to be tied to the accounts payable balance sheet account. And the inventory is going to be tied to our inventory account, which is an asset account. Um, so, uh, let me go a little bit into this. If I go out of here, go into NAV. So if I take a look at vendors, um, and I open up one vendor right here, you can see that we have, and this is usually um, underneath, let me just see, sometimes you have to dig a little bit to find these because they're hidden, because normally the user is not interacting with this. So if I go into invoicing and show more fields, I will see the vendor posting group right here. And you can see that that has been set. If I'm just, I'm going to throw this one here to the side and take a look at the customers. I look at the Canon group. Uh, and here you can see something called customer posting group under invoicing again. Customer posting group. So I have for vendors. I have the vendor posting group for customer, a customer posting group. And then to drive the point home, we have items. Get into my Colombian coffee beans here. And I'll have inventory posting group. So the entity name first, followed by posting group, is the balance sheet posting for that. So if I drill, for example, into the inventory posting group, and you're going to see um, and here into the setup, you're going to see that we are listing the inventory account right here. 
Now, uh, actually, in the inventory posting group, a combination of location and the inventory posting group will split up the inventory account. But uh, as you can see, the asset account is here being listed out, uh, 14100. If I go into uh, the customer posting group and take a look at that, then I have the receivables account. There are other accounts over here which are not balance sheet accounts, but they are sort of tied to the customer posting group because they don't have any other home that makes sense. Uh, so the interests and roundings and payment tolerance and stuff like that, so minor accounts. Um, but the receivable account is the main account uh, that you're thinking about when it comes to this. And then of course for uh, vendors, uh, we have, and you probably guessed it already, we have the payables account right here. So these, these posting groups, the main purpose of those uh, is to tie the postings to the balance sheet. And so just to give you an example of this, and I think I posted this in the earlier uh, video, I'm just going to do it again. Uh, if I actually, um, let's go in the general journal, if I actually post uh, and type in a particular account type, like um, like here, let's say we're posting on the uh, revenue account, so sale for a customer. Um, and I'm going to use the same account that I had before, which is this one, minus 5,000. If I put the balancing account here as customer, as we saw before, um, this will post onto the accounts receivable and sale, put canon group. Um, so here we're going to get a credit to this particular uh, sales account, and then we're going to get a debit to the accounts receivable account. Same way if I actually would have done, um, and now I would actually have to pick purchases, which is in the 50,000, so this makes sense. Let me just go ahead and do that. So purchase retail, like here, or let's say we're buying something. And that, of course, is turned around, uh, so we're debit. And if I go to vendor here, now I am actually buying uh, from the London Postmaster. And so that would be debit purchases, which is cost. And then it would be credit vendor, which is liability. And you can't do the inventory here because you need the inventory journal for that, but it would behave similarly. So I hope that explained how the balance sheet postings work. Um, and please hit like if you like this and subscribe. Thank you. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. As always, we welcome any questions or suggestions. Um, so leave comments or, of course, if you can subscribe, that would be awesome. Uh, we are trying to build our fan base over here at Enacta. And uh, if you want to look for further information, please go to inecta.com.